Woo! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, merci, merci. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Merci, merci. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, it's a great honor and uh, privilege for me to be here today. And uh, I'm very happy. And uh, thank you for the welcoming. Uh, before I start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Fofana. And, and uh, I am originally from Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> okay, so, merci, th me thank you. Uh, I will explain a bit how uh, I start and to come to my point. And today, I'm very happy to speak here because uh, the journey starts in 2007. You know, in 2006, when I finished, I studied economics in Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, and I decided to go to continue my study in the country of India. And I decided to go there, so I went in India, and uh, it was in the beautiful city of Pune. Okay. So, so I went there for a program, of, for an Indian program, 2006-2008. So when I reached there, uh, I started the class. And uh, after one month, I decided to go to take an English class because I didn't know a, sing a single word of English. So I went to attend some class. And there, I met some people, some very fantastic people that came also for the same reason, to come and learn English, to be able to give the exam. So uh, after that, in 2007, I had one good friend. Okay, I have one good friend that was there. His name is Josem, he's from Iran. And uh, he was study also. So after a while, I decided to call him to say hi. And this is how I call him. And he say, uh, hello, hello, who is it? I say, yes, Josem's Fofana. He say, hey, Fofana, where are you? I say, I'm here, he say, come, 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 we have to meet. So I came straight, we had a coffee, in the Pune, next to German bakery. And uh, so we have some people from Pune. <laughs> OK, so, so we spoke, we spoke. And after some time, he said, are we going a little bit faster? OK, I will take care of the translation. So he told me after we spoke for 30 minutes, after that he said that he, he starts some business, this business is good, this is a teamwork. I said, what is this business? Because we are all students here. So I told him, can you find some work for me also? Because I want to, I want to join you, you know, in the work that you are doing. He said, let me, I will see my business partner. If they allow you, then I will set an appointment. So I was, I was after him when I left him, at 7 o'clock, I call him. At, he, he said, no. At 9 o'clock, I call him. He said, OK, Fofana, I got an appointment for you. Come tomorrow, the next day. So the next day, I was dressed. I came to the appointment. I came, and I, there were some people. They explained for 30 minutes. 
You know, the guy that was explaining was not originally an English speaker. So I didn't got anything, but my eyes saw some numbers. So I said, maybe if I say no, I don't understand that we say this job is not for me. So he asked me, do you understand something? I say, I understood everything. <laughs> then, after that, they say, when do you want to join? I say, now, I want to join now. They say, you have to pay some money. Do you know that? I say, oh, oh, <laughs> we have to pay some money. So I ask, they say, it's about, uh, they give me the price. Then I say, okay, give me two days. This was just to run, okay? Because as a student, even my, my, the, the house where I was staying, my rent was not paid, you know, for two months. So I say, okay, I will come after two days. Then when I was out, the next day, the guy came to me. He came with this cast. He was after me, he was after me, he was after me. Then I say, okay, let me find the money to start the business with him. Otherwise, he will not let me go. So I didn't have the money. But he spoke too much. He spoke, he spoke, he spoke to me. Then I start to go to some friends to borrow money with them. I went to three friends, they lent me around $100, $100, $100. It wasn't enough, so I decided to call home. When I called home, I gave some story. You know, if it was you that received my call that day, you would have sent me the money. So I did everything. The next day, my dad sent the money. He said, this is your money. Go take it and go and pay your school fees. In fact, it was the balance of my school fees, $1,000. So when I received this money, I had to pay after one month. So I had the money. I went to see my director. When I saw him, I went to his office, and I started to cry. I said, Mr. Ganeshan, now there is a problem in my country. There is a fight. There is a big issue. My family, they cannot send me the money. So please allow me. He said, oh, Fofana, are you sure? Your family, are they okay? I said, no, it's not about my family. It's for my exam. He said, oh, don't worry. You are a good student. You will be allowed to give the exam. That's fine. But your family, are they okay? I said, yes, they are fine. They are fine. <laughs> then, when I came out, I called my friend straight away. I said, let's go. I went and I did my purchase, my sign up. So this is how I started this business. So, so after that, he took me for training. You know, he was showing me video. I was in hurry to start doing my business. I was not listening to him. You know, I was in hurry. So I was not listening to him. When the video finished, I start my presentation. I called my first guy. He came. We introduced the business to him. After he said, I will think. I said, take your time, think. Another presentation, he came. I did a presentation, he said, I'm not interested, no problem. <laughs> Third presentation, come. I present the business to him, no. Fourth presentation, no. Fifth presentation, no. I say, these people, they are not lacking the life. <laughs> Let me continue. Let me continue. Then, sixth presentation, no. Seventh presentation, no. Eighth presentation, no. Ten presentation, no. I said, but what is wrong? Because wait, what I saw, it was OK. But maybe, but I said, OK, fine. I trusted myself, and I believe in myself. I said, maybe the problem is them. Because my business is good. So I decided to continue. I decided to continue. The 11 presentation, no. 12, no. 13, no. 15, no. 20 presentation, no. I was now confused. I said, maybe I did a mistake. But no problem. Every day I was in office, I was with my eye plan. Every time, he keep on pushing me, motivating me. I keep on going. I present all the people that were from Ivory Coast in the same city. All of them say no. I present all the African to the business. All of them say no. All the foreigners, no. I present all my friends from India, they say no. All my classmates, no. Every day I was doing the business. Every day I was doing presentation. Every day I was doing follow-up. All of them say no. I worked there for almost eight months, every day doing the business. Every day doing the business. All the people that I introduced to this, to this system, all of them say no.
all of them. So after some time, I knew why they said no to me, because I was not following. This is something that I got to know later. I was not listening to the instruction, not following the training properly. I wanted to do on my own. So after some time, after the fifth month in the business, I met uh, one of my upline. He told me, this is your mistake, this is your mistake, this is your mistake. And I said, thank you. So after that, when I finished with my MBA, I decided to go back, to go back to Ivory Coast to build this business there. So I was, I was in hurry. I was in hurry. I call all my friends. I say, I'm coming. I call my brother. I say, I'm coming. So I was so much enthusiastic to go and build this business. When I went, I was so much enthusiastic, I didn't know the dates. So when I uh, came to the airport, nobody was there. I took a cab and I said, okay, let me go home. When I went home on the way, I called my friend. They were waiting for me. When I just entered, I put my luggage. And when I turned back, two of them was there. They said, yes, what's the business that you were talking too much? I said, okay, you came. Let's sit down. I pulled out my catalog. I put out my pen and my paper. And I say, do you know what is network marketing? They say, no. Do you know what is QNet? They say no. And I start to introduce the business. I present one bring two and then some become four and then become this and then it become. The network grows. And at the end, you get the money, you get the first yes. 250, 250, 750, 1,200 and then, and then the network grows, the network grows, the network grows. When I finish to introduce the business, they all jump and they say, whoa, we are going to join you in this business. This is how I found my first two people in this business. This is how I found my first two people in this business. So after that, we kept on working, we kept on working, we kept on working, the network starts growing, 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 and today, we are here. Today, we are here. You see, you see, in all this time that I spent, all these eight months, working every day, day and night, till midnight, till two o'clock in the morning, all of this, all the people that rejected me, all of this give me a very good teaching, very good learning that I'm applying until today. Because I knew something, I knew something. The time that I was down, the time that I wanted to give up, my upline came to me and he said, Fofana, there is no success if you don't pay the price. If today you are facing some challenge, if today you are facing some difficulties, all these difficulties is because what you are going to get is very big. So more you will face challenge, more what you will get will become bigger. So I was happy. More. I was so sure. I was so sure, so positive about the next prospect would have joined, and with him, I would have built network. I spoke to all my family when I was in India, don't send me any kind of money, I start to work, I start to do everything, it's good. So no money was coming. I went to take a credit loan to one of my friend. I said, next month I will pay you. Network was not growing. The guy was after me every day, each and every day. Even the people that I introduced the business today, all of my friends, all of the people that say no, they used to look at me and say, we told you that this business is not going to work. We told you. I say, just look. Look, you will see. As long as we are here, you will see. So when I went back to Cote d'Ivoire, I still remember the last day that they sent me to the airport. We spoke with my airplane. He said one thing, Fofana, you know why you are going. You know why you are going. So when I went there, when I found my first people, my first sign up, all of them, they start also to build the network, the network starts to grow. After three months, my upline called me. He said, Fofana, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry why I put you in this business. Now it is one year, you are doing the business, you are not doing anything. I said, hey, what's happened to you, Josem? What's happened to you? 
This business will work. Believe in this business. This business will work. And we are going to make it. You told me that this business will work. We are going to make it. He said, oh, Fofana. He said, oh, Fofana, I'm really sorry. No, this, this, this business will not work. My upline, the man which changed my mind, the man which changed everything, made me believe in myself, made me believe that everything that I want, I can achieve it. He himself, he dropped the ball. Do you understand? So today, from this time that I spent in this business, there is one thing. It's true that this business, all the things that I had, all the things that I had, my first dream list, everything that I have written, when I start this business in Ivory Coast, all of them has been achieved. Everything has been achieved. Everything. Everything. All my first list, everything has been achieved. Second list, everything has been achieved. But, dear brother and sister, if there is one challenge that I can speak to you and that I want to speak to you today is the challenge of the people that are your prospects, that are around you, that will tell you that you cannot make it, that will tell you that this business will not work. The people that I call the dream stealer. We have it everywhere. You join your business with your money, with your hope, with your belief. But these people, they will be here trying to destroy all your, all your belief, all your dream. They will try to take it from you. Be aware of them. They are very good. They are very good. The biggest obstacle that I found during my journey is a dream stealer. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. They stay with your home. They are your friend. They are everywhere with you at your job. They are everywhere. And they are very powerful. Nobody can say, Dream Stealer cannot come to me. Nobody. They are very, very, very good. They can turn your sheep into a lion. Do you want to know how they do that? Do you want to know how they do that? Yeah. This is a true story. A true story. You know, every year, the Muslims, they have Eid. They celebrate Eid. So, they buy a sheep every Eid, and then they do the ceremony with that. So, every Eid, one old man, he needed this, uh, his sheep to do the ceremony. So, he didn't have enough money. One day, he called off all, his, all of his sons. He said, hey, today, do everything that you can, but find me the money because I want to celebrate my Eid. All of his sons and children, they put the money together. They bought very big. Okay, very big ship. Then they send it to his village. He went to the bus station to take his ship. So when he saw the ship, the ship was very good. He was happy. He said, today I will celebrate. Then he decided to take his ship himself to his home, to his house. So at the same time that he was taking it, you know, there were three thieves. Three thieves. They saw him and they started to plan how they can steal his ship. The first came, he said, hey, hold man, why? You are carrying this animal. This animal is very dangerous. This animal is living in the jungle. And he ran away. The thief himself ran away. So the old man was confused. He returned and he touched his sheep. He said, but this is my sheep has been sent for my eat. He looked at the sheep, he touched, he opened the mouth, everything. It is normal sheep. So the old man that was working like that, carrying his sheep, now he starts working and look back. He walked and he looked back. He walked and he looked back. So the second thief now came. Guys, I'm telling you, they are very, very good and powerful. The second came. He said, hey, old man, why are you bringing this animal here? He will attack people. And he ran away. The old man was confused. He was used to return again. He touched his ship. Everything was normal. Everything was good. The man that was walking like that, very proud of his children because of this gift. After that, he started walking and looked behind. Look behind. But after that, he turned around and he was pulling his ship like this to go home. So, when the third thief came, when he saw the old man, he said, Hey, lion, 
in the village, run away, because this will attack you. And he ran. The old man left his sheep, and he ran away too. You understand? So, the dream stealer, this is how they behave. When you are with them, they will tell you slowly, your business will not work. You listen to them. Another guy will come, your business will not work. You will listen to him. Another guy will come, your, your business will not work. You will listen to him. More you listen to them, you start to believe slowly, slowly, slowly. And, and your sheep that you got for your eat will turn into a lion. The business that you start with many belief, with many hope that you will achieve all your dream of your life and yourself and your children, with that, you start to doubt. You start to doubt about your future. You start to doubt about the success of your friend that you will put in the system. You start to not believe. And yourself become like when you present, you have full doubt. You don't know what to do. You understand? So for that, they are very powerful. My solution for that, my solution for that, do you want to know? Do you want to know? There is one solution very powerful that from the time I start my journey, I remember only one time, only one time, one guy came to me and he said, yeah, yes, your, your business will not work. Only one time. That day, it was at the airport the last day with my friend. They told me no. No, 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 no. He took me to the airport with my airplane. When I finished, you talked to my airplane. He came to me. He said, Fofana, you are going back with your MBA. You finish. Now you are graduate. Okay? Now you, you get your degree. So go eh, and use it. And he asked me, what are you going to do? I said, yeah, yeah, maybe you are right. Maybe you are right. And when I say, yeah, yeah, maybe you are right. Now he said, yes, this is what we were trying to tell you. From eight months we were trying, but we were so passionate about QNET, QNET, QNET. Nobody had the courage to come and tell you that this business is not working. You understand? So for eight months, I was waiting for them to come and sign up, and we build this business together. But on my back, this is what they were telling me. In my back, this is what they were telling to each other, that this business will not work. But that day, never, that day, when I allow them to say, yes, maybe you are right, that day they have the guts to tell me your business will not work. So never, after him, nobody, nobody came to me to say your business will not work. They will tell in your back, they will speak in your back, but never they will come to you. Never they will come to you. Be passionate about your business. Your passion. Because when you're passionate about your business, the dream stealer, they're scared of you. They will not come to you and try to steal your dream, try to destroy your future. They will never come to you because they are scared. So never. The day that one dream stealer will come to me again and will tell me, maybe QNET will not work. I will not be against him. I will be against myself. How my belief has been diluted that level so that this guy is allowed now to come and tell me that my business is not working. How my belief has become. Do you have some people like that? People come and tell you that your business is not working. Check on your belief. Check on your belief. This is very important. If you believe it's 100%, nobody will come and stand in front of you and say your business will not work. You have to check on your belief first. We, oui. you have to check on your belief first. See, dream stealers are very powerful. The second thing that I want to tell you is how you will be in the first year. Your first year will determine everything. The first year of your time, of your journey, will set up how you will grow, how you will do this business. Every day, when I came back to Ivory Coast, every day, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, doing this business, because I accepted it. Every day, every day, doing the business. Your first year, we determine everything. When you decide to do this business, your first year, 
No time for party. No time for this. And your belief, 100% belief. 100%. Your belief has to be absolute. Absolute belief. Everybody that you will meet, everybody that you will introduce the business to, all of them. The way I do, if I introduce you the business, I see that everything that you want, you will get it in this business. Everything that you want, you will get it in this business. You tell me today, you are telling me today, I introduced the business, you are telling me today, I don't have enough money, this is the solution. I don't have time, this is the solution. I don't have friends, this is the solution. I don't know people, this is the solution. I am not happy, this is the solution. I have money, I don't have time, this is the solution. Whatever, whoever you will introduce, all of them, this is the solution. There is no other way. There is no other way around. This is the solution. Nobody, no any industry, no any business, nothing can give what this business we give. Nothing we give what this business is. Brother and sister, let me tell you, because when you introduce the business, when you doubt, when you are not 100%, when you are not sure that you, the guy that you introduce will have success, you will doubt. But if you are sure, if you are sure that this best person will benefit from this business, you see his life. You see him be happy. You see him live with his children. You see him live with his family. Give him to his family. Give him to his community. His wife, his children, all of them will be happy. If you see your prospect like that, you will do everything for him to sign up with you. Everything. 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 Nobody. Nobody, nobody is allowed to say no in, with such opportunity. Nobody. Look at, look at how it is designed. Look at how it is designed. How can we say no? If we believe, nobody. Each person, each person of your organization, each person say yes to you. They are the very most important because all of them represent a very big network, a very important network. All of them do everything for them to have the success because you spoke to them and you brought them. Do everything with them. Be with them. Protect them because the dream seeder, they are very good. My, the guy who referred me, he is very important for me. His name is Josem Temori. My first son. My first son name is Fofana Bakari Josem. I gave him his name. He is very important to me. He is very important to me. True. He tried to tell me that all oh, this business is not good. But no way, no problem. I say, okay, thank you. The dream stealer, he was alone there. When I left him, I came to Ivory Coast. I referred to people, I refer my first sign up, and we start to build. We were together. Dream Cedar has no chance to come in the middle and tell us that this business is not working. But he remained alone. He remained alone. And they were waiting. When I left him, they jumped on him. And they destroyed him completely. Till he took his phone and told me, Fofana, this business is not working. Your, your dream, your future, your everything that you want to make doesn't depend on your upline, doesn't depend on your upline leader. If they come, thank God. If they come, thank God. But you yourself, build your story. Build your story and go ahead. Build your story and go ahead. If you don't have, you see up level, you see up level, you see up level, you see the V, they are there, they are the best. Yes, they are the best. So, don't complain, 
because everything depends on you. Don't complain to your downline to say, my downline is not working. Everything depends on you. If your downline is not working, what do you do for him to make him understand, see the value of the business and start to work? Why? Why you are not doing it? Do you understand? So, it's all depend on you. It's all depend on how far you want to go. Your journey starts from you. How you will take it. How you will believe. Your belief has to be absolute. This starts first to believe in the future that you will have. To believe to your dream. That all your dream that you have, all this dream will be true one day. All of them. All of the dream that you have will be true. All of them will become true. All of them, you will achieve them. All your dream, you will get them. You have to believe. You have to believe in your system. Whatever it is, you have to believe in your system. You have to believe in your helpline, 100%. The eight months that are spent with rejection, 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 all of that was just because I was not listening. I was just in hurry to start to build my network. Not the way my upline was teaching me. Not that way. I wanted to do on my own. Just listen to your upline. Do whatever they say. Do whatever they say. If you are on top of the building and they say jump, just jump. Just jump. Because everything is secure for you. Just jump. Just jump. Because they are your upline. You have to believe to them. You have to believe to them. You have to believe to you, the company. You have to believe to the company. This company will be there. The, the founder will be there. The fifth V partner will be there. Dato 3, VJ will be there. You have to believe to this company. You have to believe to this company. And also, you have to believe of the dream, of the life that your prospects will have. Even the day of the presentation, you don't see him as somebody who will say yes or no. You see him as something, somebody that QNET will change his life. QNET will change everything in his life. You see him in that way. You see him in that way. And this is how you will do everything possible. You will go to him. You will talk to him the day that he's down. You will go to him to understand because you know there is some dream stealer and they are very powerful. You have to protect your network. You have to protect your people. You need to spend time with them. Talk with them. Talk with them. Protect them because one day they will fill all this stadium with you. They will fill it. They will fill all this stadium with you. They will finish. What I see here, what I see here is amazing. What I see here is amazing. You know, remember 2011, 2012, we were doing the same, you know, advanced SB, ISB, you know, with my brother Sachin. And, you know, <laughs> we were, we were, you know, I, I, I still remember. I still remember when I came for my first leadership training, the first person that came to us and said, hey, take everything seriously. You know, it was the one that I called the grandpa, Dave Advani. <laughs> he said, hey, he said, hey, you guys, I think it's, you are new. Take everything seriously. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, why are you going to tell me this? Oh, ah. hey, you, you, who are you? I don't know you. You understand? So this is how I was at the beginning. And he said, take everything seriously. And today what I see is amazing. One day it will happen for you. One day it will happen for you. Okay? One day it will happen for you. Your life will be so good. You know, first thing, finish with financial freedom. First thing you need to finish with financial freedom. Because when you finish with that, life be becomes so beautiful. 
You know, the life will become so good and beautiful. You change everything. Your way of thinking is different. Your way of doing things is different. Your life becomes what you want and what you choose to have. You, you don't have any constraints. You don't go to this restaurant because it is your pocket. You don't take this pen because it is your pocket. You don't use this mobile phone because it is your pocket. You use what you want. You do where you want. You drive the car that you want. You eat what you want. You school your children what you want. You do whatever you want. This is what you want. This is what you want. This is what this business is about. This is what you will get in this business. Just focus, focus, build, focus, build. Focus, build, focus, build, focus, build, focus, build, and you will see the result. Just follow your upline. 2017. 2017 is the year of limitless. Limitless year. It means, it means that you can do whatever you want. It is a year of max out. This is the year of max out. This is the year of max out. Only thing, the only thing that a networker should look when you join is to get the max out. We don't go to study medicine to study just for two years. We don't go and take some course of medicine to, the, to say, I am third year's medicine. Third year's medicine is zero. You have to study the full to get your doctorate to say, I'm a doctor. In this business, it's the same. Your doctorate is your max out. Just go for that. And this is your year. And this is your year. And you will make it. And you will make it. And you will see the result. And you will see the result. Dear brother, this year, 2017, is one thing, the max out. How many people this year are going to max out? How many people this year are going to max out? How many people this year are going to max out? This year is your year. This year is your year. This year is your year. This year is for you. It's for you to achieve your financial freedom. Thank you very much.